Hi, and thanks for joining me for this screencast. Today we're going to have a quick look at how to use Roastmaster to create a new roast profile from an existing roast. Now this is a roast that's cupped really, really well. Uh, it's the result of a number of roasting sessions that we spent honing it and tweaking it until we finally got it exactly the way we want and we're really happy with the outcome. So we want to create a new profile from it so we'll be able to easily call that up in any future roast and instantly have a roadmap of how to achieve these same results again anytime we want. So here's our roast. Now if we scroll down we can see the three cuppings that we performed on this roast. We cupped it over the course of a few days and arrived at a final score of 93.25 which is excellent and contained in our curve data is everything we need to know to get that same outcome again. Now in this roast we've used the data logging add-on with an external thermocouple while the roast was in progress to automatically log the bean mass temps. While this was happening we manually recorded our heat setting and fan setting that we applied to the Quest throughout the roast. So we've ended up with three different curves, one temperature reading curve, and our two control curves. All of these together will show us exactly how to duplicate this roast again in the future. So to turn this into a profile, all we have to do is tap the action button and tap create profile from this roast. And there we have it, our brand new profile. We can see we have our three target curves from the roast right here. Our reading curve contains the original bean temp data from the source roast and will be visible in future roasts where we use this profile. It will give us an easy way to stay on target as we roast. We also have our two control curves here. Now these two will be displayed in future roasts, but we'll also get the added benefit of when we're in the roast console or the roast analyzer, Roastmaster will give us alerts as the set point values change. So we'll, we're sure to be reminded when we need to apply a setting to the roaster and stay on track. So these three together are our target curves, but what about recording new data? Well, if we scroll down, we can see we've been given three curve templates here. They're color coded to match our target curves. Now curve templates are a way to speed up your workflow in Roastmaster. When you have templates defined in a profile and then tag that profile in a new roast, Roastmaster automatically creates copies of these curve templates inside the roast itself. That way all of your target data is visible through the profile that the roast is using and now you have three or new curves based on the curve templates with which to record data to as the row starts. And all this happens with just a tap. Now for the purposes of this particular profile, we're not going to want to record the control data during the roast. We will be recording the bean mass temps via a bound probe in the data logging option. And this will allow us to see our target temps behind our new data of the current roast. But the control curves are going to be pretty constant and we're going to be tweaking those based on what's happening with our bean temperature curve. So we can go ahead and get rid of them. We'll take out our fan and our heat curve and only retain our one bean mass curve. So that's our profile. The only thing we need to do is to name it something that makes sense to us. And I think in this case we'll use African Ethiopia and that way it'll stand out in our profile list and save it and we are done. So let's see this new profile in action. We'll create a new roast then select our Quest Roaster and our new African Ethiopia profile and we can see we have our three curves from the profile that we're using as targets and we also have our brand new curve from the curve template that we're going to use to record data with a data logging probe. And since we're using data logging this roast, we can see our thermocouple is already bound and reporting temperature changes. So we're ready to start the roast. And that's all there is to it. With just a few taps, we've turned a roast into a profile that we can easily call up in future roast. And with just a couple more taps, we've applied this profile to a new roast and it's set up and ready to start. 
we now have a complete roadmap for our new roast and all this has happened in just a few taps. I hope you've enjoyed this screencast. Please check back often. We'll be adding a number of screencasts in the near future to help you get the most out of using Roastmaster.